Not everyone has the same attitude towards risk. The person with more money may have a different attitude towards risk than another person who has less money or who cannot afford a risk. That's why it is essential to identify the right decision criterion that suits your financial situation. SpiceLogic Decision Tree software supports the following decision criteria. Maximize Expected Utility Criterion is a decision-making criterion that selects the optimum action that has the highest expected utility value among all actions. Maximin means maximize the minimum payoff. This criterion is appropriate for the pessimist persons. Using this criterion, the decision maker looks at the worst case that can happen under each action and then chooses the action that has the largest payoff for the worst case scenario. For example, the expected value for investment A is $600 and the expected value for investment B is $400. Based on the maximized expected utility criterion, investment A is the recommended strategy. Now, if you change the criterion to Leximin, you will see the investment B is highlighted as the recommended strategy because the worst case payoff for investment A is $200, but the worst case payoff for investment B is $300. As the worst case in investment B is higher than the worst case of investment A, investment B is the recommended strategy. Maximin criterion appeals to the cautious decision maker who seeks insurance that in the event of an unfavorable outcome, there is at least a known minimum payoff. In the Options Analyzer Chart Carousel, you will see a useful chart named Range Chart. From this chart, you can judge an option by looking into the minimum and maximum possible outcome at the same time. A pessimist person will notice that Investment B's minimum outcome is higher than Investment A's minimum outcome so he choose investment B. Maximax means maximize the maximum payoff. Not everyone tries to avoid risk. Rather, some people love to take a risk for a higher payoff. Think about gambling. If you gamble in a casino, and if you are not worried about losing money, then most probably you will play that game which can give you a higher amount of money for the best case. This is precisely the Maximax payoff criterion for two investments, according to the Maximax payoff criterion, the decision maker will choose the investment that has a higher payoff for the best case scenario. Minimax regret means minimize the maximum regret. Maximum regret is the metric that indicates if you choose an option at maximum, how much you can regret by not selecting other options. Let's consider the same decision tree again. If the decision maker chose investment B, then at worst case, investment B can give you $300, then you may think that if you decided investment A, maximum, you could get $1,000. The maximum amount you may lose is $700. So you may regret $700 maximum if you choose investment B. It is also known as opportunity cost. Same way, if you choose investment A, then you may regret maximum $300. If you have an attitude to minimize the regret, then you would prefer an option that has the minimum value for maximum regret. In that case, it would be an investment A. This is the decision criterion known as Minimax Regret Criterion. Whenever you choose the Minimax Regret Criterion, you will find the Maximum Regret Chart shows up in the chart carousel. Maximum regret is displayed with a minus sign because it indicates the difference between the worst payoff in action and the maximum possible payoff from the other action. According to the most likelihood criterion, the decision maker assumes that, in a chance node, the event that has the highest probability is going to happen. Based on that assumption, the decision maker chooses the action that has the highest payoff. In this tree, we see that, assuming the event with the highest probability will occur, investment A will give $200 and investment B will give $300.
Therefore, investment B should be the recommended strategy. Hurwitz Optimism Pessimism Rule The world would be too boring if every decision were made to avoid risks. Without being an optimist, no book could be written, no creative works could have been done. Entrepreneurs are optimistic. They take the risk and change the world. Can we be optimistic, emotional, at the same time rational? Yes, there can be a balance between optimism and pessimism. That is the idea of Hurwitz optimism pessimism rule. You can predefine a degree of optimism in percentage. Let's call it degree of optimism. And then when you are presented with an investment opportunity with possible risks, you will judge the opportunity by taking a percentage of the best case payoff and a percentage of the worst case payoff. That percentage will be defined by that degree of optimism. Then you can evaluate a set of investment opportunity. You can select the one that gives you the highest reward based on such evaluation. This criterion is called the optimism pessimism rule. The principle of indifference suggests that if there is no reason to believe that one uncertain outcome has more probability than another uncertain outcome, it is reasonable to assume that they are likely equal. To use this criterion in the SpiceLogic decision tree software, you need to select the maximize expected utility criterion. And then, for the chance nodes, set the probabilities as unknown. Anytime, if you want to set the probabilities, you click on the question mark and the probability dialog shows up like this. If you have already set probabilities for a chance node, you can always set them to unknown again by unchecking this checkbox. If you do not set any probabilities for a chance node, then the decision tree software will assign equal probabilities to all events behind the scene according to the principle of indifference. Finally, for any questions or concerns, Please do not hesitate to contact us at spicelogic.com/helpdesk. Thank you for watching.